G'day, Zocco. How are you, mate? Dan, how are you? How you going, buddy? Mate, I am missing you. And you look like you're in the backdrop of somewhere beautiful. Where are you? Mate, I don't want to be. I don't want to be rude. I'm in beautiful Byron Bay. It's been a bit overcast today, okay. but uh, I'll still probably go to the beach later. How's New York City, buddy? Mate, that overcast mate, still gives you a good tan, brother. Mate, New York City is firing today. <laughs> it's really brought it on. You can probably see the uh, One World Trade Center in the background, which is lovely. Um, but mate, it's uh, it's good to it's good to ca- connect with someone like yourself, who I you know admire, obviously, my band. But dude, I'm missing Australia. Hey, I must admit, as good as this is. I would love to be back yeah. where you yeah. are. What what do you what do you miss most about Australia right now, Dan? Give me give me something. What are you missing? Oh. And you got those beautiful beaches, like getting out and swim and obviously been in northern beaches. Mate, working with you. What are you on the routine at the moment? What's 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 the Australia <laughs> for you? Oh, mate, you're cutting out a little bit, but I'm just going to go with it. I think you said, what are we doing today or what's the go? No, I, just, um, oh, well, I, want, to know what, I want to know what your Australian life. What are you, what are you doing, mate? I can't, give, me, give, me, give me something because I, I want to be back there. Okay, mate. So what, what's my daily routine in Byron Bay right now? Yeah, pretty much. Is that what you're asking me? Mate, I get up. Uh, I go check the surf, which is 100 metres down the road. Um, I go surfing. Then I come back, I have some breakfast, and then I normally go to the gym, train a few people, and then try and surf again. The surf has been amazing lately. It's been so good. I'm, I'm surfed out. My shoulders are so sore from paddling so much. My body's broken right now. How's the rig, the though? The has been that good here. The rig's pretty good. How's I won't the lie. The rig's not bad. I think, I think the rig was in probably peak condition about three weeks ago. Oh, give us a look, Dan. Give us a look. What are you packing, bro? What are you packing? Mate, I tell you what, this quarantine is doing all right. Just doing all right. But that's just, you know, <laughs> nothing what you got, mate. I reckon you pre that. What, that lighting uh... was perfect. <laughs> Anything for a men's health You've probably got a whole lighting, lighting crew. You've got a whole lighting mate. crew. <laughs> <laughs> mate, there's actually 17 people just here. It's New York style. Fantastic, isn't it? But yeah, mate, what's it like uh, being in Australia being on the cover of men's health? I want to know all about that, mate. It's a, definitely a milestone for many individuals. Oh, Dan, look, I don't really like to talk about that. It was two <laughs> months ago. Yes, uh, two months ago issue. Um, <laughs> so many copies. I gave them to all my friends. I signed them all. It's no big deal, mate. No big deal. We don't, we don't need to go into that. You can check it online. My name's Luke Zocchi, Um Z-O-double-C. <laughs> you can see that online. Um, yes. No, anyway, let's, my next question, Dan. I want to know more about, when, Dan, when, when, is, when you can get back to Australia, where is somewhere you'd love to travel? Tell me your dream spot to travel. Tell me, what are you missing in Oz, man? Well, mate, I tell you what, I've been very fortunate to travel Australia well with uh, one of the shows I did called Surfing the Menu. The northwest of Australia with Exmouth yeah. is beautiful, uh, like untapped uh, up yeah. there as well. Mate, I love Tasmania. I definitely have only discovered a little bit of Tasmania. Being obviously a chef, I want to discover that more. Um, but man, I, I would honestly, I would really like to get back down to the Margaret River. I, I absolutely froth on that, man. Ooh, like yeah. it's a, it is the combination of food, wine and surfing, dude. So have you ever been there before? Yeah. No, I've actually, I've been to, uh, I've been to Fremantle once for like a day. That's Western Australia, but I haven't done <laughs> Free, all that. Fremantle. Place, all the wine. So, <laughs> so just to put that in perspective, dude, you got, you got Perth. This is just say so you played at home. You got Perth. You got Fremantle, yeah, and then you got Margaret River yeah. down here. So it's good to, yeah, it's good no, to see. Yeah, no, I've never been to Margaret River. No, no, I've <laughs> never been to Margaret River. That's what I'm saying. I've only been to Western Australia once. I went to Fremantle, but I've heard the wine's amazing. How there. was it, and mate? I, I don't mind a wine, Dan. Yeah, nice, no, lovely. <laughs> with with grandma, with Nan. Nan, does Nan like to have a little bit of wine with you cooking, mate? Oh, mate, she loves a bit of red wine. She's in South Australia. That's also a very good region, the Barossa Valley. You'd know about that, Dan. Great red wine. Mate, there. I love it there. But that's where you, that's where you're from, mate. So tell me more about that. Uh, so I was born in South Australia, the city of churches. Rome has nothing on South Australia, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> that is where it's at. South Australia. The yeah. Vatican, pff, whatever. Go down to South Australia and see the city of churches, bro. And the wine, phenomenal, good food. I just can't rate it. Australia, it's the best. The best, bro. Have you ever watched a... Uh... Ever watched a game at the uh, Adelaide Cricket Ground, mate? 
Uh, I've watched the I've watched the Adelaide Crows there, the football. I've watched the Crows play. I'm a Crows oh, fan. I'm still loyal to the Adelaide Crows, but I've never okay. actually watched the cricket there. No, never watched the cricket there. You're friends oh, with that's... Steve Smith, aren't you, Smithy? Mate, Smithy's a good man. He's uh, he's in fine form at the moment. The boys actually, I don't know if you noticed, in true Australian cafe culture, right now they are doing a lot of latte art in quarantine. Uh, so not only are they practicing their one-handed catches <laughs> in the back, but they're also doing a lot of latte art, which is obviously as we all are Australian. That's one thing I don't necessarily have to miss having an Australian cafe in New York City. But when I go back, I know one of the best things is wherever I travel, I generally have an amazing coffee wherever I go. And it's probably the number one question I get when I'm over here. Everyone talks about what is Australian food. And we have to say it is definitely cafe yeah. culture. Epic coffee, epic like yeah. brunches, avocado on toast, next level. Slap on some Vegemite yeah. maybe, Zocco, don't you think? <laughs> Vegemite is the best way I put it on everything. Now, I have a question for you, Dan, because you're in the States right now. I've had two friends come from America and I've taken them to a cafe here. And they have loved halloumi and they've never heard of it in America. They're like, what is this? I'm like, don't you have halloumi? They're like, I swear I've never had this in America. It's like this new thing. Two American friends of mine, like, have lost their mind when I've taken the cafes. And it's a pretty big thing here, like halloumi on, you know, eggs and stuff like that. And all those brekkie bowls. And yeah, is that is a halloumi in America? Can you get it? Uh, you could probably get it, but it's just not a known thing to enjoy. Uh, like all the like the Australian cafe spots over here would definitely have them, as we we are representing the Australian way. But it's yeah. just not known, man. What are the, what are those cafes in Byron? You uh, you take a lot of friends to, brother. What, what's what's the go to hit spots? Mate, I can't I can't be name dropping my secret little spots, but there's a pretty everyone loves <laughs> Bailey's. Bailey's a big. Uh, I, I've, I've got them hidden now. But ba- they're, they're all. I, <laughs> Everyone goes to Bailey's, that's the main one, but they're all known. Mate, all the food here is amazing. I can't, I think people get surprised at how good the food is when they get to Byron and Australia in general. Mate, love. I think people just think we That's ride. it. Last time I was there, I was uh, with you and we were doing like, it'd be perfect day, right? You'd be, we'd go for a morning coffee, like super early, do a session over the hills of Byron. And, uh, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like, smash smash some lunch. And you got the run through Byron Bay Lighthouse. Like, that is – that's a set. Like, that's actually – should be a thing. You should go hang out with Zocco and Byron. And, like, you know how <laughs> everyone says go to the Great Barrier Reef? It's like go hang out with Zocco and Byron and take you all the spots, work out with you, and then take you to the lighthouse. And, well, yeah. Mate, I'm you more know, than happy. Not just ladies. I'm more than so happy. <laughs> Do you remember that when I took you to that amazing gym <laughs> up in the hill? And we trained overlooking uh, the beach of Byron, and then we we uh, we jumped in the ice bath no, afterwards, so... not together, separately. Separately, we jumped in the ice bath and uh, had an ice bath, and then yeah. I think we went and got some dinner or something like that. It was amazing. It was very romantic. I felt like it was, mate. It was. I was enjoyed that. But the versatility of what happens in Byron Bay is one of the beautiful destinations, the most easterly point of New South Wales, and where Zocco just does what he does best, big dog. That's it. That's it. Now, Dan, I think we're gonna we're gonna kick this workout off. We've been we've been random for about ten minutes. I'm not sure if anyone's asked us any questions besides us asking ourselves questions. <laughs> and then, yeah, what's yeah. it? Man, should we get this workout on soon? Let's yeah, do it, I'm, I'm having a great today? time. All right, so no, Dan, I'm, I'm going to run you through first. What? Up. So Dan, because we're all the current situations are settled down, bro. We. I've got to stay focused to, to present this. Don't be... Oh, hip openers. Just, uh, so, Dan, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing... Because of the current situations where people are, you know, some people can't get to a gym right now, we are going to do a bodyweight uh, workout that is from the new Center Unleashed program. And you know about this, Dan. We shot this earlier in the year. It's that six-week bodyweight program. No equipment needed. It re- gets launched May 18th. So look out for that. So we are going to run through a Center Unleashed Bodyweight Program. We're going to be doing 10 exercises, and then we're going to go through these 10 exercises, 35 seconds on, 25 seconds off. Then we're going to repeat that. So that's going to be a total of 20 minutes. How do you feel about that, Dan? Oh, I'm excited. But this means that anyone can do this anywhere, right? Because if I'm doing this in New York City and you're doing it there and we don't need any equipment, which is one of the best parts of Center Unleashed, that means anyone who's watching us right now yes. can actually do this with us. That's it, mate. It kicks off May 18th. So how about we do a little warm-up first, Dan, just a couple of minutes. I'm not going to lie. I trained legs the other day, and I'm hobbling like a baby giraffe at the moment, so I need to warm up these whole get-around <laughs> 
<laughs> oh Jesus! All right, mate. What's the warm up? You want to take us to the warm up, mate? Or you, you got this? All right, let's just do let, let's just do a light little just light jog just to get a little bit of a heart rate up, Dan. And then we'll do some hip openers. I like the look of those. Let's just stand I'm just here. Gonna, you can look at your beautiful face as I adjust my camera a little bit. Go for it. Talk to me, Dan. Okay, let's just jog for twenty seconds because you've been talking too long, bro. So let's jog for twenty seconds. <laughs> get those knees up a bit, Dan. Oh, right, Dan, do you know what's amazing? What's that, mate? My my computer is literally resting on my barbecue. After this, I swear <laughs> I'm going to cook like a, a big a big brekkie on the barbie. I've, I've defrosted some snags, and I'm, I'm literally going to cook snags and bacon and eggs on my barbecue. All right, stop there. I'm, I'm ranting. Uh, We're going to do some hip openers. So stepping out first, walk forward and step out. Open those hips, Dan. There you go, bro. I'm just there imagining that beautiful barbecue getting char grilled with the, uh, the, the oh. MacBook on top. Do you, do, you own, okay? do, you, do, do you have a barbecue on your roof in New York? Now go the other way. So coming in now. No, I in do like not that. We're have going out barbecue before. on my roof. You are not allowed to have barbecues on your roof in New York City. Oh, uh, you would not do that, Dan. You're responsible. <laughs> I'm a responsible man who does not do anything that is not deemed responsible. <laughs> just, oh, good. I'm just rotating here. Oh, I just cracked my back. Just rotate here a bit. We're going to do some chest openers, Mate, so, tell you so what. reaching out like this. Mate, yeah, what you got there? How's that view, dude? Is that real? I swear, you've got you've got a lighting guy who made your abs look better from that angle, and that's a fake backdrop. That's not even real. That's like a, that's no, a blue screen, is actually, isn't it? I know it. I'm actually in, uh, I'm actually in, uh, we just want to add a bit of diversity. To, so, uh, yeah. This is. Green, green. Um, I can actually, mate. I've gotten. Re- yeah. I've been really good at uh, telling the weather, so I can now tell the weather. So it's great. Okay, Dan. We're gonna. I'm gonna rip into this workout now. I'm gonna start the timer. Do it, mate. You're gonna Talk. be. So I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the Squatting. timer going. We're gonna be going for 35, 35 seconds on, twenty five seconds off. You're gonna do the first exercise. I'll be giving some commentary, and then we're gonna swap. So I'm going to start the timer All right. in, so we're going in 10 seconds, Dan. Are you ready? You're going I'm to nervous, be squatting. Mate. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah, All right. good. The butt looks Three, good. Three, two, let's go, Dan. Let's go. Keep that chest up. Let's go. Let's start squatting. There you go. Keep the weight on your heels. Look at the backdrop. A little Aussie just battling away in New York. I love it, Dan. How's the hair going, by the way? You look amazing. Mate, what do you How think? How long has it been since you've cut Joe, that I've thing? almost got the... May definitely be at least three months. Good. I saw my barber today. He wasn't allowed to cut it, but he just said hello, which is fantastic. <laughs> Dan, you've got you've got ten seconds, bro. You're doing great, guns there. Come on, rep them out, bro. Do it for Australia, mate. Come on, mate, you've got this, Dan. I feel like I'm doing Australia Food. proud right now. No Time. one on rooftops in New York City. Rest. All right. Rest, Dan. Rest, Dan. Oh. I'm gonna do burpees next. Can you do that again? You've got a 25 second break. Fantastic. So I'm doing burpees. So you get a little time. break, and then I'm gonna do hollow rocks. All right, Dan. All right, so I've got ten seconds. Chest to the ground, you, can... Zocco. you want me chest to the All right, ground? Make sure you're doing your fa- chest to the ground burpees, mate. Come on, you got this. Let's All right, go. You ready? Let's go. Chest to the ground. Oh. Chest to the ground, up above your head. That's it, straight up. This is an exercise, as you know, Zocco, that you can obviously just go to. You don't have to do the push up. You can obviously just go to upper plank position and then to jump like overhead. That. But mate, yep. I love your pace. Yeah, it's exactly like that, mate. Really good torso. Keep that engaged. Hips are up, mate. It's like you've been getting up and down, down the surfboard all your life, mate. Is this what you do for a living? Must be nice. I'm, Jeez, look at that. I'm coming towards you, Dan. You're just changing the angles now. Yeah, you look good, mate. You look real nice. Nan, be very happy with that. This is really good, mate. <laughs> oh. It's a burster. Can One we never do them again? It gets the whole body going. Uh, I mean, I like to say yes, but ideally, I think it's probably going to happen again. Not going to lie. What's next, mate? I forgot. I forgot to tell people: get a drink of water, get a towel if you need one. The rain's coming. I hope it doesn't rain on my computer. Dan, you got hollow rock. Was that a little flex? Core exercise. Oh, here we go. No, you're keeping that core tight. All right, you're going, Dan. And you're on, bro. Let's go. Keep that core tight and just rock. Beautiful, Dan. Nice, strong core. Keeping those toes pointed. These are tricky, bro. They're not easy. 
I can't Mate, get over the backdrop. Did Senna let me wear my red shoes today? How about my red shoes? Finally, someone let me wear shoes. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> oh, Dan, look at you go, bro. Come on. Keep that core tight. So this is a lower, Mate, I'm just lower and core workout. Over. That's it. This is really right, tough. Dan, you got four seconds, this mate. You got get. four seconds. Luke Zocchi. Time, Dan. Time, Men's health time. Cover I'm going to take oh. it. Tag. Tag me. I'm in. I'm in. I'm going to be doing a sumo Tag. walk. So right, sumo man. walk, you're in a squat position like this. You're staying low and you're walking like a sumo wrestler. Get him in a headlock and, and we're on, bro. Was that a little flex, mate? <laughs> Of course it was, Dan. You've got to learn the tricks, bro. All right, I'm going. So I'm here and I'm walking forward. Go for it, mate. 35 seconds. Walking forward. Nice, brother. Oh, really good. Hitting ability. Keeping low. Chest up. Hands, you can have you your hands on your hips. You want to keep your bum below your knees, hey? Keep your chest up. Yeah, Posture's try and get right, that nice and low. I'll and tell you what, I shouldn't have trained legs like two days ago, Dan. This is horrific. <laughs> All right, here we go. Low. That's what ice spots are made for, mate. You yeah. got this. Keep it going. Oh, keep it going. This is actually really hard. Really good, bro. That's really it, hard. I know, but you're doing well. You're doing well. Keeping that squat position, mate. This is where the glutes get activated. The quads are burning. Stay low. Ah. Stay low. Oh, oh. All right. I think All right, Dan. You're up mate, next. It sucks because you got the legs. You've got to walk out. I oh, know. You've got the you've got right. the upper body one. You've got the walk out, Dan. Get ready. Uh, walk good. out. You can throw a push up good. if you want, Dan, for a bit more of a challenge. Yeah. Coming out, standing tall between each like rep. Call me there in, mate. Go. Call me in. Call me in. Now Feeling we're good about this one. Let's go, Dan. Let's work. Let's work. Let's go. Walking out. Keep that core tight. Push up. Look at that. Professional. Beautiful. Look at him go. He's like a. He's like a little cook. He's like a little kookaburra just crawling. Do kookaburras crawl? <laughs> Maybe an iguana. I don't know. <laughs> a blue tongue lizard. How's me just getting Aussie oh, by mate. the minute? Come on, Dan. Mate, I get in there. I've Do got a blue Bernie. tongue lizard back Do in my place city. in Australia. It's called. <laughs> <laughs> do it for Bernie, do it for Bernie, do it for Aussie. Glenn McGrath, oh, uh, Glenn McGrah. <laughs> you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I'm talking about Australian <laughs> cricketers. All right, almost there, man, time, rest bro, you're out, tag me in, I'm winding up, I think my coffee's kicking in, we're Boom. going down, we're going now, bro. What do you, what do you got, mate, you got frog got squats, frog. you got frog squats, is that what you're on? Fr these, are, these are great for hip mobility, but they burn, the lactic acid is horrific, they look a bit weird, you want to push the elbows and the knees, open those hips up. I'm going to give you a bit of a side you profile. You want to be dead Mate, show you us the carbs. Be caught dead the doing this. We always love to see the carbs. <laughs> oh, ready? So I'm here and I'm rocking. I'm just rocking. We'll start slow. So, is this get the that mobility thing, going? Mate, you wouldn't be seen in Byron Bay, maybe by the lighthouse, mate. Or are you going to be doing these only at home? Because I mean, it looks great. Let's be mate, real for a second, mate. mate let's pick. Let's ready? Pick I'm going to wrap them out. Let's pick that pace. I look up. like a little frog, bro. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's go. It's good. Ready? Go. What's there the time for? Let's go. There you go. Let's wrap them. Good pace. Oh boy, they're already hurting, Dan. Oh, they're already hurting. That's so good. Oh. That's so good. No, it hurts so much. My legs are so sore. <laughs> oh no, get me out of here, Dan. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm Josh, not joking. Bro. I trained job, legs man. yesterday. I'm so sore. All right, Dan, you've got a crab crawl. So on your back, crawling back and forward. Oh, Think geez. like a crab. A crab at the beach. <laughs> crab at the beach of Byron, bro. You know what I'm talking. Oh, not that way. It's kind of interesting because we're going back and forth, not sideways. So technically, it should be called a forward crab, but it's just called a crab crawl. All right, let's go, Dan. There you go. Hand to foot. Mate, there really you go. This is a really good burner on the triceps, Beautiful. isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. mate I did crawl all day yesterday. Get... Mate, there's a place on the west side oh, of Manhattan. That. It's uh, it's called a, yep. essentially a nice park area. And all we did yesterday was essentially... Yep. Bear crawls and a lot of Daruk workouts and Luke Zocchi specials. So just Ooh. like you did legs, Ooh. it's just really helping my Ooh. upper body. Oh, geez. Triceps are talking to me. Oh, God. They're yelling. Yeah, there you go. You're going to get the Hemsy horseshoe. Ooh, yeah, that's what I call it, the Hemsy horseshoe, bro. <laughs> Come on. Almost there, bro. That's time. Oh, I've got a reverse good. crunch now, Dan. Oh, yeah. Take a rest, mate. Take a rest. Oh. We've got another round. We've got a whole other. We're not even halfway through yet. <laughs> We've still got We're another again, couple more Jeez. exercises. So I'm going to do a reverse crunch. I'm sure, I'm can you see me there, Dan? Okay. You can see me all right? Can you show me that? How you do it? Show us a reverse crunch. So basically here, I'm coming up and, and lifting the knees up, getting the lower bum off the gotcha. ground. Ready? Here. So this is going to really work your down, lower control. abs. That's good. Getting the knees best yep. you can. Mate, if you can, stick those feet up in the air once you get tight towards you. Stick them up. 
get them up in the center and yeah. boom. You ready? Oh, yeah, that's a little harder. Isn't it? Oh. That's a little tougher. Oh, there, there it is. Add a little extra element. There it is. I'm, def- Ooh, I'm, I'm definitely getting my top up after this, Dan. They're going to be firing the abs. <laughs> <sighs> Don't worry. Mate, this is what you do before you go to a surf, isn't it? You actually do all this before you go for a surf. That's why everyone sees you on the other beach. Dan, Fantastic. I'm, Coffee and Dan, all. I do this every time. Before I, <laughs> I do this before I leave the house, bro. I do this before I leave the house. <laughs> I just, I just walk good. out. I walk out to the shops like this. Hey, how are you? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, All Jen, right, Dan, cheers, you have cheers, jumped nice lunges. Luke, Luke Zocchi's the name. <laughs> yeah, I, I pulled the <laughs> straw, straw on this one, didn't I? Jeez. Oh, Dan, I, I want you bouncing around like a little kangaroo, bro. Let's go, a little girl. Let's start working. You're on now. Come on, Dan. Let's go. Let's go. Dan, you started early, bro. You're, you're going to do about a good 40. I know. You started way I'm too keen there. <laughs> oh. You've committed, bro. You've committed to the cause. <laughs> oh, mate. How good is this? Dan, oh, I, just, this love I it. just noticed your roof. Is that, Dan, is that ice on your roof? What is that? No, it's actually white. You're not on yes. ice there. It's concrete. That, that's, that's concrete. That's tar. So it's some really hot tar here. Uh, and you've got to be really uh, okay. quiet. <laughs> There's someone below right here. Oh no! So I'm probably jumping on that roof. All right, right now. Dan, you're almost there, bro. <laughs> time, Dan. Time. Whoa. Have a rest. Have a rest. <sighs> Dan, now I've got another weird Whoa. animal movement. I'm doing a side gorilla. A side gorilla. Oh, did geez. you do these yesterday in your little in your yeah, little gorilla movement? Oh, so you're here. It was tough. Tell you that much. Up, and and this is this is your trailing hand. You'll see. All right, I'm going three <laughs> seconds. Ready? Let's go, Being here, across. Show us what you got. Chest up. Chest up. Remember, yeah, nice. chest up in between every rep. <sighs> Fantastic. I look like... It's like you've been to Cheeky Monkeys, mate. Get... That's a place in Byron Bay. <laughs> Cheeky Monkeys. Dan, you did not go there, did you? <laughs> you are a Cheeky Monkeys. You went there without telling me, bro. <laughs> no, nah, I definitely oh, didn't, mate. Yeah. I would, you and I would have gone together. That's what we're sure. We they were too busy mates. working. I, they, they, I reckon they're getting more <laughs> yeah, defined. Yeah. I was having a look this morning. Ready? One more. Time. We need to make I reckon sure they get more defined. A, we need a, they're not getting any bigger. We they're just getting defined, page. bro. We need a GoFundMe page for Luke's calves so we can get calf implants for Luke. Okay. So, you want to show us your calves, mate? Please. It's, I need. <laughs> ready? GoFundMe page. Diamonds, bro. <laughs> Dan. So, Dan, we're halfway, we bro. We're halfway. We've got one more round. Yeah, so you're doing squats. If you want to make it harder, Dan, you can throw on a jumping squat if you want. Go, Dan. Go. Let's go. Why let's not? go. Get down. Let's go. Oh, I love your enthusiasm. Look at him. He's just killing it. Come on, Dan. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Let's work, Dan. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's yeah. Fantastic. I love how you, I I love how you commit early and you're like, oh. 15 seconds, Dan. Come on. You've yeah. got 15 seconds. You've got just... this. You've got this. You've got this, bro. Here we go. Come on, Dan. Do it for Australia, mate. Dig deep. You're oh, an Aussie battler. Come on. Just for, uh, You're an Aussie go. battler. Oh, thinking of those and time, Dan. Hands. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Time, time, time. Oh, All right, I'm now? ready. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I got oh, burpees, bro. I've got to psych myself up. I got this. I got this, Dan. I got this. Woo. I want chest to the ground. Surf and walk efforts, mate. Oh. Let's build those. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's build those South Australian. What do you reckon, you, mate? Oh, uh, the city of churches, I you bro. Can do I'm back. doing it for them. Seconds. Let's do 10 reps. Go. Smash out 10. Easy. One, Let's go. Nice. Two, nice. Three, there you go. Four, Chest up. That's it. Everyone five, watching, this is a classic burpee. Six, Does absolutely everything, seven, dude. How good. Legs, upper eight, body, burns your lungs. Nine, Another one to do is 20 seconds on, 10, 10 seconds off times 10. Nice, bro. 11, there you go, Zocco. There you go. Nice, mate. Who did legs yesterday? No one. <laughs> hey, good, mate. Oh. Strong. If I Very vomit, strong. is that weird? Is that vomit if I Very win? Very strong. Yo. I think it's kind Hollow of accepted. Hollow rocks, man. Hollow rocks. It's actually accepted. Hollow rocks. Oh. oh. You know, if you do oh, these boy. slower, it's actually harder. So do these slower. Yeah, so for sure. If you can actually control your hollow rock. Here we go. Tell me when, big man. Yeah. I'm just going to start as if right, I'm up three, jump into a pool. Two. Let's go. Let's go, Dan. Let's go. Let's work. Let's work. Less nice yap, yap. More tap, tap, if you know what I'm saying. Let's go. Tap, tap. 
<laughs> Let's oh, jump you up more really tap tap. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Dan, oh, when are you coming back? I want you to, I want oh. you to cook some stuff for my barbecue, bro. I want some Dan Churchill's oh, greatness mate, on the be barbie. A treat. As long as it's not your MacBook, mate, I'll definitely do it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan. You got five oh. seconds, bro. You're killing it. You got five seconds. Oh, I'm feeling. I'm feeling Luke's off. Time. Get out. Get out. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there. <sighs> Those abs are gonna. You're gonna be on fire. Oh, I got. I got. Oh, I got oh. the sumo walks. Oh, the poor the, the poor little <laughs> get around sticks are gonna be struggling after this. Oh, oh boy, mate, you're gonna be. Walk- I got this. You might as well start learning how to handstand, mate, so you can handstand walk everywhere because your legs gonna be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, here we go. Nice you and got low. this, mate. Let's go. Nice Stay low. low. Stay nice and low. Keep them activated. Hips low. Get that bum below your knees. Keep it low. That's a good one, mate. That's it. Keep this breathing as well. Into your nose. Excruciating. <laughs> Give us a smile. <laughs> oh, mate. This is one of the best things about the Center Unleashed program, though, mate. There's so many people in the community who encourage you the whole way. Like, I'm encouraging Zocco right now, isn't it? <laughs> Six Help weeks me. of fun and games, Help me. big man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my leg! Sweat as well. Oh, I got this. I got mate. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low, bro. Yeah, you go. Start dabbing for me. Start dabbing for me. Oh. Go, man. Good effort, bro. Oh. Good oh. job. Good job. Okay, Dan. You got walkout. Oh. I want you to throw a push up in. It's the last round, bro. Throw a push up in. You've got this. I got it, mate. I got you. Oh. You I got, got it. it. Working on my do Chris it. H. My Chris H. If it's if it if it's, if it's oh. not for you, do it for your country, Dan. Come on, bro. Not for you, do it for your country. Beautiful Australia. Come on, mate. All right, you ready? Actually, I do Let's get Let's go, Dan. Get in Everyone there. Asked me where I live. Everyone asks me where I'm from. I'm always saying, like, obviously, Australia. And that's, then they that's go... That's a good question, yeah, Dan. You... I like you... Where did you grow up, Dan? Where did you grow up? Are you a New South Wales boy? So, yeah. Nice. No. It's Sydney. God's country. Okay, I've got a serious question for it's you because I'm a Victorian. I was, I, was, I was born in South Australia, then I've spent most of my life in Victoria. Who has better restaurants, Melbourne or Sydney, <laughs> in your opinion? Uh, as much as I'd love to say it's Sydney, time, it's definitely Melbourne. Time. Yes! Yes, that's why I like you, Dan, because you tell the truth. You tell the truth. That's why I like you. I'm an honest man. I'm an honest <laughs> man. Absolutely. <laughs> now tell me this, mate. Who's your, who's your favourite Who's your favorite uh, chef called Dan on centre? That's an even better one. Dan, Dan Churchill, are you kidding Nailed me? It. Dan Churchill all the way, bro. Nailed it. Okay, I've, I've got it. that up. I've, what I've have got, got that. mate? The, the frog squats, the frog squats. Frog squats, the real weird looking one. Let's oh, go. Mate. Three, <laughs> four, five, We call these the five, uh, six, conversation starter, these ones. Eight. This is no. <laughs> hey, Did you hey, what are on? you doing? Yeah, my name's Luke. Can you, do you frog squat? <laughs> do you frog squat? <laughs> do you even frog squat? Mate, it's squat? great for oh, hip mobility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this hurts so much, on, I, mate. You've never been on Tinder, I know oh. that. But if you were on Tinder, that'd be a fantastic thing to have in profile. Oh, get me out of here! <laughs> oh god! Oh my legs! Oh, that's so oh. good. That was horrific. Oh, make you sure got, I don't jump the gun. A, okay, yeah, have a breather. Have a breather. It's, it's not an easy workout. This kind of thing. Uh, this uh, center six center unleashed. It's not. It's not easy, bro. You know. You have crab claw You know what the is? We actually program this. So we seconds. program this. That's the worst part. I know. <laughs> I know. On paper, it sounded amazing, it but when you do it, it's hideous. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Mate, let's is work. this the good work. angle? Come on, Dan. You got I don't this. know if I'm doing the right angle. Should I be? Yeah. Should I be going side to side as opposed no, to back no. and forth? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's no. It's the right angle, Ooh. and it's a perfect up up the shorts moment. So it's amazing. Oh, it's like, ah, I can. I can. Ah, here we go. I can see. I can see what you had Just for dinner. It. It's amazing. I can see what you had for lunch. <laughs> oh, no, man, no. Keep Australian it clean. Keep it clean. We're live here, bro. Come on, Dan. Let's clean. go. Like I said, mate. Let's yap yap more tap tap. Let's go, bro. Come on. Come on. We're gonna work now. Five oh, seconds. Geez. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Time. Get out of there. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Dan, just warning you. Just, mate. Just, just warning you. This you got, is mate? my last ab exercise. This is my last ab oh. exercise. If the sun comes out and the lighting's good, I might pull the top off just for a second. Just saying. <laughs> I will say, the pe- everyone the, said the in is- the newsroom, they said, if, if it's okay to put your top off. And I said, I'm only doing it as Zocco does. All right? No, I'm not going to be the solo. <laughs> I'm right. the angle. Ready? Here I go. Here I go. Up. Oh. 
Oh, there are a lot of people very excited watching this manoeuvre from Luke. I can tell you that. That's great, mate. Nice. See if you can, see if you can get a pause oh, at the top, mate. See if you can get a pause for us. And while you're doing that, can you just remind everyone what your favourite thing on your book, your bookshelf is right now? That would be fantastic as well. <laughs> I cannot believe you spoke about that in the live, by the way. I love your work, mate. This is really good form. Really good form. Keep your torso activated. Oh, can you give me a pause? Can you give me a pause? Give me a hold. Dude, oh, you got dude one. food, dude go. food. Dude food. <laughs> oh, it's so hot in here. So hot in here. It's so hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> just a sneak face Dan you have jump lunges this is your last exercise I want you to bring it home bring it home like Kathy Freeman in the 400 metres bro you bring it bro bring it let's go bro alright here we go jump lunges let's go let's go let's go let's work man let's go you got this there it is look at that look at this the smooth transition the soft landing this is like this is like watching Picasso down. paint this Picasso, is like watching Picasso no, paint saying, or... After, if you're going to say Picasso's oh, paintings, fluid. Picasso's paintings aren't exactly so, you know, <laughs> perfect. Dan, like I said, Dan, like I said, less yap, yap, more tap, tap, bro. I do the talking now. <laughs> you work. You are looking amazing, though. You, it's, just, it's, like, it's like watching oh. Smitty do a cover oh. drive, bro. This is just... It's beautiful. It's good. Time, you're out, Dan. It looks very good. You oh. have done... Dan, you have finished. How are you feeling? You feeling good? Like I'm on top of New York City world right now, but wanting to be in Australia. <laughs> How's that for you? Yeah, that's oh. a great answer. I've got side gorillas. All right. Oh, finish us off, you dog. Right. Finish us off, mate. All right, I'm getting in the zone. I'm going. I'm, going, I'm getting in the zone. I'm coming with speed, bro. Let's go. I'm going quick. I'm going, go, going quick. I'm going quick. Good speed, mate. Give me some good this. transition. Give me some good temperance. <laughs> Give me a... To keep that Give chest up. Here we go. That's it. Keep that posture go. right. Squeeze back go. onto your glutes. Let's go. Transfer your weight from your That's toes it. to your hips. That's it. Stay nice oh, and high. I'm like a little, Good effort, mate. I'm like a little nice baby effort. gorilla. I'm a little baby gorilla. Mate. Bouncing around. <laughs> oh, the floor slippery. The floor mate, slippery. We're, we're, we're keep up with me there. Zoo, mate. We might have to go to Australia Zoo. You've been staying in the pen, mate. Fantastic. You see. Get everyone inside. You see me. Oh. <laughs> go say that to the team, the Owens. Oh. oh, hang on a minute a second. Mate. You keep talking for a second, mate, to get my uh, breath back. I was, <laughs> well, I was going to say, brother, uh, I think, I think you know, you and I are just hanging out together is a good sweat session in general, bro. But, um, mate, you look like oh, you were sure. right for the, for, the, for, for the show along the northern beaches. So I recommend that any time I'm in town, we do some gorillas along DY Beach or something, mate. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna throw a little question at you, Dan, because you've been in this uh, ISO for a while. What do you reckon the secret? What's the secret to getting a good body weight workout in? What do you think of the secret is, bro? Mate, you're throwing you under honestly, the bus here. You're... I think. Nah, like I think the biggest thing is when you get told a workout to do, it's easy. And I think everyone's that yeah. same mindset. When you when you get told a workout to do, it's easy. So like. In all honesty, yeah. that's like why it's great to be on a program such as Center because you just simply every single day you go on and it's there and you just know what to do and you have yeah. no fuss, nothing else, you can do it. And I feel like a lot of people in general yeah. have been saying, oh, I've been you know, frustrated by any weights or anything like that. And that's like totally fine. But at the end of the day, it's because they, they're, they're lacking dynamic um, you know, information. Essentially, they don't know what to do. So if you tell them what to do, it's easy. Yeah. And for us, we stay motivated no matter what, doing gorillas and side lunges and crab calls. So... This is this is like part of our you know breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's like up to us to do all that, mate. What's your yeah. secret, mate? Do you have any? No, like you said, I think I think exercise is for some people is hard to do. Like any excuse you can to get out of it is kind of like oh yeah, no, it's too hard yeah. or I can't do that. But like you said, if you get told something, it's just like if there's no excuse not to do it. It's like boom, that's what you're doing for the day. I think you kind of just go into autopilot and just get it done and get on with your day like Can, like me for example now i've just trained i'm gonna feel 10 times better yeah. now after that like i'll be on fire now for the rest of the day you know what's really interesting living over here though man is like i uh i definitely see the difference in australia in terms of american lifestyle and so like you know a lot of australians we, we have yeah. beautiful coastlines and everything so we're very fortunate to have that yeah. kind of inbuilt into our lifestyle to be active in outdoors 
And so like here, I've kind of had to like almost encourage people more to do it because they're not so used to having that lifestyle being outdoors as much. Um, so it's, it's like yeah, also it's a benefit to use your outdoor locations and stuff like that and be a part of it. Like Australia is gorgeous. Like going into the water, going for a surf, going for a swim, being active and outdoors is huge, dude. And that's why I miss the beach so much. Yeah. But it comes, it comes with the territory yeah, sure. of, uh, you know, trying to hold Luke Zocchi's end of the bargain here in New York City. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, when I was filming, um, the flag. I actually surfed. Where is it? New New Jersey's near New York, isn't it? Yeah, so you got I New Jersey. You got Rockaway. New Jersey. You surf in New Jersey. Yeah, you can surf in New Jersey. Uh, I don't sure, know. It's really right small. There, for sure. Yeah, yeah. When I was uh, filming Lucky in Atlanta cars. on Avengers, we ran. A... <laughs> My calves got lost in New Jersey, and so if you could do a shout out, <laughs> has someone seen Luke Zocchi's calves? Look, they are pretty small. They'll be hard to see. So really. Really look carefully, <laughs> but have the a FBI look. FBI on mate. We've got everyone. CSI. <laughs> but yeah, you got a surf in over here? Yeah, well, I went for a little surf and I was just conditions. The conditions were no good. Um, I went in the water, but it was yeah, cold. Yeah, what's, what's that like? Pretty... You, you've obviously been everywhere around the world with it, man. So like, where's, where's your favorite surf spot? Where is your favorite place to surf? I'm not joking. Like, Australia waves are ridiculous. Like... I used to I used to travel to Bali a lot because I, I grew up in Melbourne. But then um, I used to go to Bali a lot. But now that I've seen all this coastline up here, it's just it's I reckon it's better than Bali. So I just kind of surf here now. All along here is amazing. It's just like uncrowded little beaches. That's like when as soon as they open up the yeah. border, that's my next thing. I've I've lived in Byron. Noosa's only four hours away. I've never been to Noosa. I've never been to Noosa. Too. Can you not go to Byron? So as soon as they open up, have the you never been to Noosa? I've, I've I've never been to Noosa. Oh. I've lived here for five years. And so I want to go to Noosa. Mate, That's my next little destination. You've got to go, man. It's honestly the best, like, chilled out spot ever. And it's it's honestly like, there's it's almost got like a, it's got a bit of modernism to it. And it's still got that old school kind of like quite, you know, nostalgia to it. It's so Aussie. I love it, dude. It's. Yeah. Have, have oh, you been to Double you, Island? I haven't done that either. Luke, mate. You know, that's the problem. <laughs> have you been to Double Island? Oh, I haven't done that, man. Far out. I think you and I are starting That's to plot up. our next. Nah, you and I are starting to plot our next little adventure together. There you go, mate. We'll get in a full drive. We'll go from Byron. We'll go up to Noosa because I've never been. You can show me around, oh. and then we'll hit Double Island. I think that's further north, and you just drive along the beach. There's just surf breaks all along the beach. I haven't done that either. So there's two things we've have got to do when we get back. Uh, yes, I have a little bit of it. Yeah, I've done a little bit of that. That was really good. It was amazing. So good. That's so what's on for the rest of the afternoon, Dan? Because it's night time there for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate. I've actually got a... We do a like, Friday night for the community. We do an Instagram live where everyone goes and gets their ingredients and we, I show them how to teach how to cook a dish. So that's happening tonight in, at, from Charlie yep. Street. And then, uh, mate, rooftop rooftop Friday nights. That's pretty much what's going to be happening and uh, looking forward to it, dude. What are you going for the rest of the day? Oh. Mate, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna cook some breakfast after this because we've just... Killed the gym, me and you, little body weight crusher from Santa. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some food, and I'll be, I'll be tying in. There's someone who can teach us, or not that you need any teaching, damn it. The next segment coming up uh, is gonna be someone showing you how to cook a great meal. So maybe I'll cook that and stay on the, the tourism Australia and just keep the ball rolling. But I'm gonna go. I'm on a going on a big bike ride, dude. A push bike ride. Um, I'm, I've signed up. Well, I have stupid this. Me. Well, I'm, I think I'm going to do about 50 kilometres today, but I've signed up with an ex-Australian triathlete champion, world champion. He's taking me on a ride next week. I'm going to do 300 kilometres in two days. I don't even know if I can do it. Mate, if I'm you ride thought 150... your legs and butt were sore today, you've got another <laughs> thing coming for you, mate. You might as well do that workout three times over just to prepare you for what you're about to experience. Yeah, I don't think I realise how bad it is. We're literally, me and him and like a crew, we're going to ride down to... Um, a spot we're going to camp for the night in Swags, and then we're going to ride back. And it's about a 300k round trip. It's his name's Tim Reed, the ex-Australian, but Australia, he's Australian, and he was the yeah, world Tim champion Reed. triathlete in 2016 or 17 or something. He's a machine. Apparently, mate, bike's his strongest the best leg. In so Australia, don't we? <laughs> we do, mate. We do. <laughs> bit, Even I the just exports, the, one, the ones in the bike, mate. <laughs> Look, the I might get to. I might get to. Mate, that's fantastic. I might get some calf muscles after this. I actually might find some calf muscles. Just, I can imagine you doing these ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm... Do we pass this on yet or do we keep going for another five? What do you think? I don't know where we're at. Do we go another five minutes? Can we just... Ch- no, I'm not... I, I mean, we can... Do you want to do a five? plank? Do you want to do a plank and, uh, and hang out for a second? Oh, I like the sound of that. Let's do a plank oh, let's and just do keep that. talking. Uh, I, Let's do a plank and chat. I'm going to put my... <laughs> this is always I'll, the best I'll one. Let's do a plank chat. A, session, I reckon. a plank chat. Dude, okay. here's a, here's a, okay, let's play, let's getting, play fun facts. I'm, let's play fun facts with DC. Uh, you ready for this? Okay, oh, on, three, get, two... On, yeah, okay, you do some fun facts. Wait. Can, all right, let's go. Okay. Am I, can you tell I'm in okay, the plank? Okay, what's, yeah. uh, what's your... Go. Yeah, you can, you? Oh, jeez, you can yeah. change the camera angles and everything. All right, mate, so... Yeah, I've got my luck. you had one more day in Australia, where would you go? Yep. One more day. Oh. It's your last day. One more day. I, do I do something that I know? Well, I think I'd have to... I'm going to have to say Noosa and Double Island because I haven't seen it and everyone raves about it. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Well, Favorite okay. What about you? If you had one... spot in Australia. Oh, yeah. Favourite food spot in Australia. Attica. I went to Attica in Melbourne and it blew my mind. Oh, what was your favourite meal? Do you remember the meal they, they gave you? Do you remember like the dish? Hang on, did you just did, did you just get out of the plank? No, I'm still here, mate. Don't you, mate? I can plank for thirty minutes. Oh. Don't even start me. Are, are you serious? <laughs> that is why would you I do that one, to yourself? I was watching an episode that is of How horrendous. Many Mothers, so I just decided to do it. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. Are you serious? <laughs> How did you pull Actually, up the next day? Yeah, How funny. were you the next day? Shoulders were barking, but uh, I felt good. I was pretty proud, so it was overseen everything. Mate, I think we're ready to wrap. Oh, you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wrap it up like this, Dan. Um, I just want to thank everyone who joined into our workout. I'm sure you can thank people as well. Um, I had a great time, Dan. Did you have a good time, mate? Mate, always had a great time. I miss you. I miss Australia. I mean, New York City is awesome, but I do miss being back there right now and uh, giving you a hug and an ice bath cuddle. But, mate, in saying that, it's uh, always good to hang out. And I, I reckon you want to pass it on to someone who's special, right, mate? What do you got for me? Mate, that is right. Guy Turlin from Bondi Harvest is going to be making a bang and brekkie bowl. So I think I'm just going to keep rolling on this live feed and watch uh, Guy. do. He's doing it live from Bondi Beach. You've been to Bondi Beach. Great spot. Oh, so Guy is going to be live from Guy's Bondi Beach too. showing us. So actually, I don't think I've ever met Guy. So I'm going to tune in and just keep staying on this live feed. And that is going to be my recovery meal after the epic little session we did. Mate, more, more to come with Center Unleashed, eh? So you and I should hang out and we'll catch you soon. That's it. May 18th, bro. Uh, I miss your face, Dan. Stay safe over there. Um, much love from Australia. Um, love your work, Dan. You got in there. You got it done. When I said less, yap, yap, more tap, tap, you dug, you dug the hills in and you went for it. That's why I love you, Dan. You're a goer, mate. You're a goer. <laughs> love your work, brother. Be well. Stay safe and see you soon, mate.